Hey there, this is Dean from Paperform, and I'm going to show you how you can set up our Paperform to Paper Sign integration so that you can automatically send documents to be signed from new form submissions. So, I'm going to assume you already know how to use Paper Sign and Paperform separately. If you don't know how to do that, please watch some of our intro videos. We've got lots of great resources to help you get started. But for right now, I'm going to show you the agreement that we're going to be sending out automatically from form submission. So, here I've got a standard agreement. It's very simple. We've, we ask for a bit of information. We capture a, a company name uh, and a date, uh, a signature, a name, a company name again, a uh, date, and then we have a custom field for a fee or a comments. If you haven't seen custom fields before, uh, un underneath the signer information, we have the option to have custom fields here. You can use this to display information onto a document, or you can actually use these as questions in and of themselves on a document, uh, so that they it works kind of like a default value that's linked. Uh, but for right now, we'll jump into paper form and set up this document to be sent automatically when the form is submitted. So from the dashboard, we can click the menu and click paper form to get to paper form. And I'm going to click create a new form from scratch. All right, so here we are. I've got a new form. And the first thing we're going to need to put in to our form is a name and an email address. So I'm going to create some new questions. This is the minimum you need to send a document to be signed. You need a name and an email address. And then depending on the document, you may want to require other information as well. For example, we have those custom fields on this document where we're asking for a fee. Uh, so we might want to put in a number for that. And we might want to put in comments as an optional question, as unrequired. Um, so now we're asking, okay, so we've got a form, we're asking for a name, an email address, a fee as a number, and comments. Now under after submission, we can go down to paper sign, and we can choose send a document to be signed automatically for new submissions. So this is much like setting up any direct integration in paper form, it's going to feel very familiar. Uh, we can choose the document we'd like to send. So we've got our standard agreement, which we've just set up. So we can choose what we'd like this document to be called. We could just leave it as standard agreement. That's a little bit boring. So we might do agreement with the name of the person who's submitting the document, uh, submitting the form. And now we get to map across questions from the form to information about the signer. So we need the signer's name and email. These are the two required fields. We have name and email address. We don't really care about the phone or the job title. Now we did have a comp we did have a company uh, in the document, so we might put in a hard coded company for the moment. So you can add, add values manually if you would like to. They don't all have to come from the form. And for the price, we're going to choose fee and comments for the comments. All right, now you need to choose a new document owner. By default, that's just you, whoever you're logged in as. So that's who's gonna own that document in PaperSign itself. Uh, and if the document isn't ready to be sent, we can choose what we would like to happen. So if, for example, the form didn't have a required name or email address and those values weren't present and we weren't able to send the document out to be signed, by default, nothing's going to happen. No document's gonna be created, nothing's going to be signed. We can change that behavior though and choose to create a draft so what will happen is a draft document will appear in your account that will have as much information as we have required uh, entered into that document and it will be up to you to then go manually fix and send that document so that it can be sent, it can be signed. All right, the other final thing here is we can use conditional logic. So if you only want to send a document sometimes to be signed or you want to send different documents depending on how people answer the form, then you can choose to use conditional logic there. So you could only send it to people who have uh, at paperform.co email address, for example. Um, if you've used conditional logic, it's just like that anywhere else within the paperform product. When we're happy with that, we can click finish setup. I'm gonna skip testing for the moment. So this is gonna send standard agreement to be signed and I'll show you what that looks like. So if I go to view, we get what is your name? Dean McPherson. Dean at paperform.co. Uh, 
we'll do $60 and comments is hi me and I can click submit all right now if I go back to paper sign so I'm going to go back to the dashboard swap back to the paper sign product we see there's an agreement with Dan McPherson in progress if I preview that we can see we've got uh, Acme Co hard-coded in and paper form it's not executed on a date yet because I haven't signed it uh, we've got our fee of $60 and our comments hi me coming through from the form submission so that's how you can set up a form in paper sign to automatically send a document to be signed there's actually an even quicker way of doing this as well which I'll show you uh, very quickly now so this does exactly the same thing it's just a shortcut but we can type forward slash in the editor and we can type paper sign and we have a quick act integration that sends a document to be signed so quick integrations help you set this up even quicker we can choose the document we'd like to send on this form uh, we can map the document name again if we would like to but here under questions to import we can just toggle which questions we'd like so we might want price and company but we don't want job title or phone for example and click import questions and that's automatically going to set up a direct integration to this paper signed document so that when this question form is submitted that document is created uh, and we don't need to go and manually map across these questions we can of course change these titles to be something a bit more uh, user friendly anyway i hope you like it please let us know if you have any questions and thanks for watching